Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you blending modes, and in particular, the behind and the clear. Now, I'm going to show them using brushes and gradients. In particular, first, I'm going to use a gradient and then brushes. Now, gradients have an option for behind. Brushes, also additional, a clear option. Now, I'm just going to go over first to the gradient. And I'm just going to use one of the special effects. And I'm just going to apply this one first. So, special effects. And I'm going to apply it as a background. This is just the background, so you can actually see this, this dot in the background. Well, bright light in the background. Now, create a layer. And the whole thing with the behind and clear is actually using layers. So I'm just going to set OK at this point, And I've got a new layer. Now I'm going to use transparency. I'm just going to quickly apply some gradients using the behind. And of course, every time I do that, you can actually see straight away that the actual <coughs> gradients are actually being applied behind. So uh, just going to do that. And uh, again, you can see it's behind that one, just behind, and so on and so on. And I, of course, can use the other options. I'm just going to create a circle. And every time I do this, of course, the actual gradients are actually added to this layer. Of course, I could do behind just by doing behind on the background. But of course, it wouldn't work. Once you've applied once, you can't actually apply behind it anymore. So obviously, using the behind is actually quite convenient. So you just keep adding more and more if you want to actually add something behind. Of course, you could add additional layers. That's another way around it. Just add some more layers below that, and then add the gradient to those. Anyway. Once you've done that, once you've actually done the behind, and as I say, brushes, there's an additional clear option. Now, I'm not certain why gradients doesn't have it, but anyway, I'm certain there is a reason. But uh, So I'm just gonna, and one thing I've also noticed is that you can actually do the same thing in 32-bit and 16-bit as well. So it's quite useful, and actually quite nicer as well. The gradients look much better in 32-bit, so it's certainly worth exploring 32-bit mode as well. Okay. Go to the brushes. Now in brushes, I've just got a brush from uh, Graphic Extras. It's one of the Crescent Arc. No, it's an Arc design brush from a Graphic Extras. It's one of my designs. And I'm just going to apply it. I'm actually just using red. Now, of course, I could apply it now to this. It just be on top of all the original designs. But if I actually go over to the behind, I can actually apply the brush and you can actually see the brush is now applied behind all the rest of the the actual thing it's obviously the key thing here is the transparency that's the whole thing all these gradients here have all got transparency and the behind adds it to anything that's got transparency so obviously if there's actual pixels being filled obviously the the actual brush is lost behind Obviously, if it, there's nothing there, if there's transparency, you actually can see the, the brush below. Anyway, now go to the clear option. And like I say, that's not available with gradients, but uh, with brushes it is. And now I can actually do clear. And I'm just going to apply a couple of, again. And well, what that does, it actually removes the pixels from that layer. So instead of actually, obviously I could just apply, if I was applied to a white background, you would just think, oh, well, it's just applying what would be just as easy to apply white. Or, but here you can actually see the pixels have been removed using the brush stroke. So again, of course, and then once you've done that, you can go back to behind and you can again apply the brushes. And you can see again, the actual brushes are actually applied only to the areas that were with transparency and they're applied behind again the rest of the design so that's a quick tutorial about brushes and gradients and the various a couple of the more unusual blend modes that are not readily available in most of the other options though they are with shapes as well i hope you found this tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the graphic extras channel always adding new videos every couple of days thank you much